to our News for Jack's I team investigation, Rodent Residential, working to help people living at the Hilltop Village Apartments in Northwest Jacksonville. They say their homes are infested with mice, so much so they put these glue traps outside their bedroom doors, you see, to catch the rodents before they crawl into their beds. We talked with one woman who says those small traps weren't enough for her. She had to make her own so she could catch more mice at one time. She says she caught 28 in just two days inside her apartment. We want to warn you, what we found may be disturbing. Cedrisa Tinsley caught live mice running around her daughter's drawer. Yeah, this is my daughter's bedroom. Mm -hmm. So they, they normally like being here. What can you describe to me what that is and what did you think when you saw that? That's rodent droppings and um I, I, I don't know. In your daughter's drawer? In my daughter's drawer. It's not just here. Anytime that you will come and like bump up against the mattress, like they'll come running up out the holes. Mice ate into her four-year-old's mattress. They're in her couch too. And when she heard something under her sink inside a box of new pots, this is what she found when she kicked it open. Those pink things are baby mice. I called the office and I was like, rats laid babies into my box of brand new pots. And I was like, can you send maintenance? I called at 11, ain't nobody coming till after two o'clock. She's not alone. And I can show you in my um, air conditioning closet. This is Jasmine Hairston. I don't know if it's, it might be one on here, I don't know. But look, it's one on there and it's, it's fresh. This is the floor of her AC closet. A mouse still alive, stuck to the glue. She has to walk carefully in her kitchen to avoid stepping on any of the other traps. I came in, it was actually two of them in here. And I had to hurry up and get a glue trap and just put it on top so it could stick. She says one even got caught in the bathtub. And so you went to the property manager. I, met, I and went what to the property manager. They gave me glue traps, pest control comes. It doesn't do a bit of good because it's like an infestation in here. This is Tiara Buck. I'm sitting with my child one day and we just in the living room watching TV and I noticed that he picked up a, a trap with a mouse on me, a dead mouse. And how old is your child? Two years old. Your two year old picked it my up? My two year old baby. She says the mice eat anything she leaves out on the counter. Like the others, she's called the property manager too to complain. I these little big old mouse traps all outside the building this ain't working. They literally come in from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top. We did some digging and discovered mice have been a problem at the Hilltop Village Apartments for at least two years. Since 2019, we found 11 complaints filed with the city's code enforcement office. Seven of them report a mice infestation. There are 14 apartment buildings here at Hilltop Village. Each is labeled by letter A through N. We sent up Sky 4 to give you a better perspective of what we've uncovered. We know Cedricia lives in Building E, Tiara in Building J, and Jasmine's apartment is in Building N. They say their apartments are infested. We've also discovered a mice problem in Building D. A tenant sent me this video. Those are live mice in her kitchen garbage can. A tenant in Building C sent me this. Two mice caught on a glue trap in her closet. She says it's so bad, she and her son sleep with traps outside their bedroom doors. We've also learned a tenant in Building L reported a mice infestation to the city in her apartment just two months ago in March. A mother in Building F has so many mice, she puts the dead ones in a bucket outside her front door. I also spoke with a woman who reported to code enforcement that the rodent problem in Building I is getting worse. That is seven of 14 buildings, half of them, where tenants say they are literally living with mice. Since none has told me that the property manager has even come to see the problem firsthand, we took an example with us to get some answers. Hi, do you work here? Hi, I'm Jennifer Wall with Channel 4. You have a mice infestation. I wait outside the management office. Hello? Someone eventually comes to the door. Why do I need to put the cameras down? Are you closing the blinds? She won't open it. She tells me to call the corporate office. Okay, well, who is that? Because you have a mice infestation and I want to know what's going on. Yeah. Are you aware of the mice infestation? Here's some of them. Ma'am, this has been going on for two years. 
Cambridge Management, can you please hold? Sure. The corporate office is in Seattle, Washington. Hi, my name is Jennifer Wall. I'm calling from Channel 4 News in Jacksonville. No one is available to take my call. After three days, I still had not heard from anyone. I called back, and no one was available to talk with me again, which means another sleepless night for Jasmine. And I hear squeak, 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 all night. And Sidresha's daughters. My oldest, she went to the bed. They don't get up in the middle of the night to come to the restroom. Too afraid of what they might find during the walk to the bathroom. Now, I did finally hear back from Cambridge Management, the corporate office of the property management company. A public relations specialist sent me this email. It reads, in response to recent complaints, we have engaged a pest control vendor to take additional and appropriate actions to address the reported pest control issues. We ask residents with any concerns to let us know so that we can address them as soon as possible. Honestly, that doesn't come close to answering my questions. So I did follow up asking for more information, like why hasn't more been done since this has been going on for at least two years? I am still waiting for a response. In the meantime, if you live at Hilltop Village Apartments and you are having a mice problem, I want to hear from you. Please email me, send me your pictures, send me videos so I can take those to people who can make a difference here. You can do that by emailing me at jwa at wjxt.com.